So today, I'm going to go over the Ryobi Expanded 12-inch Snow Thrower attachment. This is model number RYSNW00. It's around $99. It's rated for up to 6 inches of snow. I bought this quite a while ago, but it didn't snow enough for me to actually make a video review on this. The forecast today called for around 6 to 10 inches of wet, heavy snow. In this kind of snow, you really should be using a snow blower, so I wanted to get that out of the way. But I'm just making this video for demonstration purposes. I'm also going to mention I'm not really using the proper cleaning technique. In reality, what we got was a snow that was kind of in between. It wasn't really powdery, but it wasn't full slush. But I would say it was more on the wet heavy side. I first started with the battery motor. I'm using the brushless string trimmer, the 40 volt 40009 VNM. It has two speeds. I'm pairing that with a four amp hour battery. This is the battery that's included with most of the outdoor power tools that Ryobi have. I started using it and immediately it started cutting out. I knew this was the case with normal battery handheld tools. When it gets a certain amount of load and exceeds it, it just cuts out all of a sudden. It's not hard to restart, you just push the button in and it starts again. But I found that it just kept cutting out over and over and it got annoying really quick. I was also using half paths. So instead of clearing the 12 inch wide path that the tool is rated for, I'm just doing half of that, which is six. I believe when you do this, it performs better. And that applies for any normal snowblower tool. Usually if you're trying to clear wet, heavy snow, it's a good idea to just clear less than what's rated for. And it just seems to work better that way. So after struggling with the battery power head for five minutes, I just gave up on it. I looked at the meter and I already used one bar out of four. So I knew it wasn't gonna last long at all. Moving over to gas, I was able to clear up the entire driveway. That's almost 75 feet long. I was able to complete the job in around 45 minutes. Again, this is not really the type of tool you would use for the type and amount of snow we got today. Just like with the battery power head, for the gas one, I did half paths of six inches, so it took a little bit longer than it should have. This was to keep it from bogging down. As with the battery, if you try to jam this into a mound full of snow, it just won't move. The rating isn't that high to begin with, so clearance becomes the issue. Six inches of snow isn't really that much, and when the snow plow pushes it to the edge of your driveway, you're not really gonna be able to move it with this tool. You're still gonna have to use a hand shovel, so just be realistic. But I would still have to say I am very surprised that it worked as well as it did. Even the larger 18 inch snow Joe, the plug in snowblower I have couldn't throw anything today. This is a machine that usually works really, really well for me, but the wet snow just jammed up the chute. I didn't even clear one row before it jammed itself up. This isn't really a video on the snow Joe, but I will make a quick comment that I would not really recommend a corded snowblower if you could avoid it. I mean, first of all, mixing electric cords, extension cords, and water is not a good idea to begin with. I mean, there's always a risk of running over the cord. Even if you work your way away from the outlet to keep the cord from getting tangled, it's just a hassle. I mean, it doesn't make any sense in my opinion. If you have a long driveway like I do here, you're limited in the left to right direction instead of front to back. And again, it just doesn't make any sense. Going back to the gas version of the snow shovel, after I finished, the fuel left was less than half tank. Again, I don't think the battery would have even come close to this kind of runtime. So after you heard the outcome of both, which one would I keep, the battery or the gas? Well, long story short, I would keep both. The battery is great because there's no noise or smell. You already knew that. No noise means that you could use this during the workday, which is the reason I bought this. But also, if you're doing nighttime cleaning, you could do it without any problems, without violating any noise ordinances that you might have. I'm still keeping the gas because sooner or later, batteries will die on the job, especially if you have a large job to do and you need to recharge it. With gas, you just fill up again and you're good to go. As you saw in the video, the gas motor head did not bog down as much as the battery one did. To me, the performance was a night and day difference. There was no difference in weight. They are both heavy, especially after you use it for a while. The weight on the battery motor head is better balanced. If you were to use larger amp hour batteries on the battery power head, it's gonna weigh significantly more. Some final thoughts on the tool itself. For pros, it's easy to attach and use. You just click it in. This goes for any of the expanded tool attachments. 
It has more than decent capability to clear reasonable amounts of snow, especially if you have the gas power head. For the cons, the tool is offset to one side of the handle, so it's not balanced very well. The ergonomics could be a little bit better. It's going to tire you out because you have to constantly lift it up and turn it around with your own arms and hands. Whereas with a traditional snowblower, it just has wheels that sit on the ground and you just push it around. The auger is plastic, but I think that's pretty common in this price range and uh, this type of tool. There's also no directional control like you have with a typical snowblower with an aiming chute. If you're using a left to right pattern like I am on my driveway, it just isn't very efficient. Front to back doesn't work for me because I don't want to throw the snow into the street. And likewise, I don't want to throw it back into my garage. So if you decide to purchase this tool, here are my recommendations. If you don't have much snow to begin with, definitely go for it. Or if you're in a heavy snow area, I would use this in conjunction with a dedicated snowblower machine for smaller jobs. In terms of battery or gas, if you just have a dusting or two inches, you know, you don't have snow pretty often, I think the battery is more than enough. You don't have to deal with any hassles of taking care of a two-stroke engine. If you're looking to use the full six-inch snow clearing capability of this attachment, or if you have a much larger area, I would definitely go with the gas version. And those are just my thoughts for today. If you found something useful in this video, or you disagree with something I said, feel free to leave it down in the comments down below. And I'll see you next time.